So we're starting our morning off with watching the sunrise. And uh might be too cloudy. I think it's too cloudy. Might be. I don't know. But there's an island down there in the horizon. I don't know what island that is. But it's got like a water tower or a lighthouse or something. So it's got to be legit. With the aqua mouse right behind me, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, I wasn't that impressed with it. I feel like it was exactly like the aqua duck, which I love, obviously. I think it's amazing. But I wanted it to be different. It wasn't that different, aside from like the ascent into it. So, you know, okay, something I, to think I about. Up on, I have a cruise mapper app and I looked up our ship and here's where we are. And it's Freeport. Freeport, oh. Freeport Bahamas, Bahamas? That, that's what um, we were there on we adventure, saw. right? Yeah, we yeah, but we never got off the ship, but we were there. We laid eyes on the senior frogs there. So technically we were there. I think by cruise technicalities, that means we were there. So here's something I just noticed is there's a Mickey head down there with like all the like these horns. Oh, those are the horns. I think that's the horns that make the music. Wow. I'm not really sure, but that's what it looks it like. It looks like that. looks like they can play different notes, you know? Yeah. Okay, so it looks like we're not really going to see the sun emerge from the water because it's just a little too cloudy. Yeah. But we're going to go to Cove Cafe and get something to drink and check that place out. I like that idea. So here's something interesting that I noticed. We're over here, I think this is Current's Bar. It's up on deck 14. And this is like basically where we watch the fireworks from on the Dream. And they have a TV screen that is basically showing the same thing as the tunnel vision, which I think is really cool because I'm assuming if there's like a show going on, that you could sit here and still like watch what the screen is showing. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And it's funnel vision, not tunnel vision. Oh, whoops. I get it now. And then here's the, the funnel vision. And here's like the main pool deck. Oh, there's the Mickey pool. That have we ever crazy. seen that open? That was a stage yesterday. That's crazy. It's amazing how often they have to change the chairs. It's like no chairs for when they're doing a show. Chairs out for when it's a pool day. Yeah. Oh, and tonight's pirate night. So tonight we're going to see the fireworks. Yeah. Our stateroom attendant told us that our room is perfect for viewing the fireworks because I guess they shoot them over our side of the room. But I think I still want to come up here. I do too, but I think it's interesting that like we would have such a good view from our room. Yeah. Another thing about these pools that we didn't really notice yesterday is that none of them are deep. You this know? one's four six. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, I take that back. This one is like ankle deep. My point is ruined. And our stateroom attendant said that the fireworks are brand new and we're the third sailing to have these new firework, this new fireworks show. So I don't know what that means. I don't know how they made it different, but I think that's cool. Yeah, it is cool. And I love walking around here before anyone wakes up. Yeah. Here's the aqua mouse with no water in it. Wow. And we probably changed the lights on it. We're still not 100% sure, but I think we did. I think we did. Last night with the game. Because what are the odds that like it was changing the exact moment we were playing the game, you know? Yeah, I don't know why you're questioning it. It's just too cool. <laughs> so this is a uh, quiet cove. This is the adult pool. It's closed right now. But that pool is amazing. It's very cool to stare at the aft. It is really nice. I love that pool. Yeah. Um, but this is where Cove Cafe is down here. And by the way, it is really quiet over here. I like it. So the menu's on an iPad. This is cool. Yeah. That's what it looks like in here. It's kind of got like a Moana vibe in here. Like with all the decorations on the shelves. Yeah. Like those look like um, the ships from Moana. Oh, I think this is Moana because look at this. Yeah, for sure. Look, this is the, the manta ray that her grandma turns into. And the hook. And the hook. Is that his actual hook? What, what's the guy's name? I don't know. Maui? Maui's, Maui's hook, maybe? Seems like it. And the music is kind of that Polynesian vibe, too. I mean, that picture is definitely Moana. Yeah. So I got my hot mocha here. And it's good. It's very evil tasting because <laughs> uh, Thanos was on the... the um, the foam. Was the barista being mean by giving you <laughs> such an evil character? Was he saying like, you're evil, here's Thanos? Am I reading I too know. much into it? I, think, I don't know. I think it's just, it's it's so good. The mocha is so good that it's bad. And wow. It will make you want to snap, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the sun's coming up more now and it actually looks really cool because the rays are coming up you can see the rays i don't know if it's going to show up in camera but it looks really neat yeah but yeah we're gonna um head back to our room 
and get our fish extender gifts. And go place them. Place them and people are gonna wake up and it's gonna be like Christmas morning when yeah. they say something. Santa oh, was there. We're gonna check out what's happening in the lounge this morning. See if, see what kind of breakfast or drinks they have. Wow, look at the little bowls of fruit loops. Wow, so they have a bunch of cereal that and pastries. Good. So they also have salmon and cheese and a bunch of other stuff. And you got, you got a smoothie. A little smoothie thing. How is it? It's okay. I mean, it's green, so there's like vegetables in it. So, but it's good. <laughs> so Carrie got some tea from the concierge lounge, and we came up here to this is the um, upstairs portion of the lounge, and it looks like the hot tubs are open. Nobody's out here yet. This is amazing. So we were inside the lounge just a second ago, and I um, asked one of the guys, I was like, oh, do you have Red Bull? Because there's no Red Bull in the fridge. Yeah. And you know, I like to be very healthy and drink energy drinks because it's good for you. Yeah. And um, he goes, he goes like, oh, let me check. And like, he's like, oh, I couldn't find it, but I, I got you this. And like, I didn't have to pay for it or anything. It's like, so cool. He just got me this and he's like, I couldn't find Red Bull, so I got you this and here you go. And it's like. I've never even seen that on a cruise ship before. The service is really good. It's amazing. It Honestly, amazing. like with all the concierge hosts or whatever they're called and like the stateroom attendant that we've had, yeah. like absolutely outstanding. It's next level. It is. And so from this area, um, we're on deck 13 now and we can go straight to our room via this hallway. But first, oh, yeah, let me gonna... stop and check out the- We're gonna get some water for the, the fridge. Room. There's ginger ale, cherry Coke. What do we need, dear? I just wanna bring some water back. Okay and put it in our fridge. Cold. <laughs> so yeah, we just walked through those doors and then now we're in the hallway for our room. It's really convenient. I didn't know that we were gonna have like access like that to the the lounge, like so close to our room. You know? I didn't know that we'd be able to get to the downstairs lounge from up here. And it's weird to think that we're like, we're above the pool deck, you know? We're higher than the pool deck right now. It's weird to think. <gasps> Santa came. Oh my gosh, look how cool. Wow, I didn't notice that before. Wow, so we, someone gave us a whiteboard? I think that's the coolest present. And we got all this other stuff. We need to bring this in. I don't even know how we're getting into the room. <laughs> <laughs> we have our present. Yeah, let's see what we got. So I got stuff and you got stuff. And, and they're different they're stuff. Different things. Something that we messed up on is we didn't have um, name tags or like um, two from tags. And like, we didn't do individual gifts. That's, I'm like really, I feel really bad that we just did one per room. Yeah. Let's just see what, let's see what we got. Okay, well let's open this. Well, first thing, I got these, um, these Tic Tacs and they, they printed their own label on it that says the Disney Wish with our sale date, November 4th. These are oh. cute, it's little Minnie Mouse coasters. Oh, wow. I love that. Oh, I think I got coasters too. Flip it over, cause it's, you're the oh, Mickey to okay. my mini. <laughs> oh, and this is a game. It says Yahtzee. Oh my God, that is so, so this funny. Is a, this is a it's a Yahtzee game. game. Yeah. Wow. It's a little That's tote nice. bag. People did really well. People did. We should show what we Yeah, made. we really should. Or not made, but God. What we came up with. So while Brian is getting out our fish extenders, I've got to say, I had to pack the bags and they are in the same material. She carries like closing her eyes right now. <laughs> like I had to pack them and the material, it just, it hurts. It hurts. It makes me cringe. It makes my tongue curl. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, okay. I don't care about nails on a chalkboard. I care about when this material moves around even okay. right now. <laughs> All right. So here's what we came up with. We have one bag per room. Um, we have these Finding Nemo towel clips. You put these on the back of your chair on the pool deck keeps your towel from uh, flying away now i'm worried because we we have these rooms with like four people in them and we only got one okay but these are really cool they are really cool but i feel bad and i mean these are really hard to find by the way they're they're rare and, and they, i don't think they exist anymore i don't think they exist anymore and i mean for a disney cruise this is perfect okay. i agree with that um so i think we have, we have five different rooms we have four of these, but I could not find a fifth one. So someone's gonna get frozen towel clips. We should find out which one has like a, a like young people, like kids in the room. Yeah. I feel like they would be more appreciative of the frozen. Really? I don't know. We'll see, I'll, anyway. I'll look at the list. And then everyone gets binoculars because sometimes you- There's an island over there. Yeah, you wanna look at it. You wanna see a dolphin. And so it's kind of a fun thing to have on a cruise. Yeah. So the other thing we have, that we're gonna put these in each bag. Um, Five Below has Disney ducks. Amazing. Um, so we have like Pooh, Tigger, Mickey, 
uh, mini Donald. And this one's really cool. Like this is Ariel as a duck. I love it. So we're gonna put these randomly in the fish extenders too. Again, we we had to list who our favorite characters were on that sheet, so maybe we can do oh, it okay. like wisely. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna get all this stuff. Go to each room on our list, and I want to check out like what people's fish extenders look like because. Sometimes people make their own and they, yeah. they look different so we can see what they look like. It'll be we cool. We have to be quiet because we're is. Santa yeah, yeah. Claus. <laughs> and it's early too. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we're searching for our first fish extender. 12016. I got all my ducks in a row. <laughs> get it? <laughs> I do get it. Wow. Oh, I like their fish extender. Wow. And their vacation clothes. They have a, a lot of magnets here. They do. Go Bills, maybe they are from New York, I don't know. Or they just like Donald Duck's bill. I don't think this is gonna fit in the fish extender. No, I just put it on the ground. I, or what if I put it right here? Okay. I put it on the sun. Perfect. What's the next room? I have to look it up, but we accomplished one. Yeah. They, they really started blasting the music. They're, they're blasting the Mary Poppins already. They, they want people to- Eight in the them. morning and they're like, they cranked it up to 11. They really did. Okay, so our next room is 8626. Okay. We planned it out because we're, we're going top to bottom. Genius. So like we're, we're going in order. That's the way to do it. It is, especially because our room is the top room, yeah. so. Oh my God, I found a duck. <gasps> Ducky! I never find the ducks. Carrie always finds the ducks. This is insane. This was an easy one to find. Oh, what luck you found a, a cruising duck. Oh, the duck has um, Mickey Mouse ears in the pictures. Keep or hide, you decide. Wow. I'm actually gonna say leave it there. All right, let the magic continue. Yeah, but we found it. We found and it. It's first. on. It's on deck eight, so it's it's we're at the right floor for our next hide. We're on deck eight now. It's like a different vibe. The hallway is a different vibe. And I like it. This is kind of a, a, a what what is this bird or owl from? Is it Snow White or Cinderella? Yikes. As you can I see, want to see Sleeping Beauty. Everybody decorates their door on a Disney cruise. Look, and people do fish extenders. Oh, this is the person who organized ours. Is it really? Yes, because she said that if there's any changes in your room, come and put it on this door. Wow. Yeah. What's the owl from? Is it Sleeping Beauty? I think it's Sleeping Beauty, but I'm really, really not sure. Huh. It could be Cinderella, and I feel like it would make more sense. Wow, someone put a, a happy birthday banner. Very nice. There it is. Okay, we found it. See? Again, a lot of magnets. Now we know because the, these were gifted to us, so like whenever we see those, we know we're there. Look, they have a stuffed fish extender. They really do. They have a lot of stuff. Wow. But I feel like it was made by the same people that made ours. Oh, it might be. Because I think we have that exact logo. Cruising with Mickey. I think that might be by the same person on Etsy. I just said that. I do feel like Santa Claus. Oh, I, wait, I just want to show this one. Okay, these people aren't in our group, but like, look how cool this door looks. And they've got a stuffed fish extender too. Wait, but this is a Moana themed door. And also the fish extender is Moana themed because it has Hey Hey. Oh, amazing. And it has the pig. Nobody knows the pig's name, but there's the pig. Wow. This is the best door we've seen. It is. Okay, we're on deck six now. Wow. Wow. This is a really long, this, there's this, this fish extender goes all the way to the floor. Wow. This is good. Wait, so we gave these people two ducks because there's a lot of people in the room. Yeah. So make sure you give them the one with two ducks. What happens at sea stays at sea. Just like Vegas. Again, like there's, their pockets are stuffed already. So I'm gonna put it on the carriage. No, this one's a carriage. I love that. The bird must be from Cinderella. There's so many gifts here, you can't even tell what room it is. Yeah. There's six people total, or six rooms total in our group, including us. So we're, we have five gifts to give out. I think on longer cruises, the groups are much bigger. Like, cause doing, handing out five isn't really that hard. Yeah. Um, but like, I think if you're on a seven night, it's probably like 10 groups maybe. I don't know. I feel like it depends on your organizer. We had a really nice group, a Facebook group. I don't think they're as common on the three nights, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh. Is it 6080? Yeah, this is it. Oh, I feel like this might've been made by- I, I agree. Don't know. Oh, thank you for your service. So this is the one with Donald, right? So, so they were in the Navy. I know, I just said thank and you. And Donald was in the Navy, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. So they're getting, they're getting the Donald Duck. I was like, we'll, we'll give them the Donald Duck, and that's his name. Oh, I get it. 
I think that's amazing. We decided that this room was getting Donald before we even came and saw that they were in the Navy. Yeah. But so far, like, <gasps> Baby, they have candy. They're giving away candy. Wow. Look what we found. So, I also think, like, I think this means that they have oh, in a wheelchair. That's crazy that there's a magnet, that there's a service. So the state. So the stateroom attendant, when they go to clean, they can remember that there's a service animal in there. I think that's amazing. That's really cool. Do you think that that's Disney provided or that they... I think Disney put that there. I think so too. Like that wasn't like a fan made. There's so many decorated doors. Like, that one has lights. We need to do better. That door has lights. Wow. I also think that, like this is a specifically Disney Cruise Line thing. Mm-hmm. No, people people in Royal don't decorate like they this. They don't decorate like this, and it, like the magic is just lost. Now that the Oceaneer Club is less crowded, I can notice a detail like this, where the Cheshire Cat is just hanging out on the railing of this awesome staircase right outside the Oceaneer Club. I'm noticing that as we're on our way to deliver our very last... This is the last one. This wasn't too bad. This didn't take much time at all. No, and I feel like, you know... And we got to see cool rooms. We really did. Our, our people have, did a good job of organizing themselves in uh, good locations on the ship. Yeah. <gasps> what? How did they do what? that? What? What? I don't even understand. It's a magnet with batteries. I think it's really clear that we need to do better. Like, that is really cool. Um, so here's their extender. Again, this looks like... Wait, they also have the lollipop thing. Oh. This looks like, um, oh, and this is like a magnetic hook that they just like stuck there. So it seems like a lot of people, you know, go on Etsy to get their Maybe fish extender. Yeah. But again, our, this bag is too big, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook it on the Cinderella carrot. Should I take a lollipop? <laughs> I don't know. I'm taking a lollipop. I'm doing it against Brian's wishes. Watermelon for the win. Let's go. Okay, we did it. That was all of them. That was cool. Yeah, let's go to the staircase. Okay. And we'll get to see, like, we'll keep getting gifts, you know, because we haven't gotten all of our gifts. Yeah, I don't think so. Like, people won't know who ours is from because we don't have a tag. I know. Next time I think we'll do a tag. Yeah. Next time we'll do better. I really like this venue. It's called Luna. And we're on the second level of it here. And you're kind of walking by the hallway and you can kind of look into it. And then there's the main floor down there with a stage. You know what I just but, realized? Huh. When we were walking up the steps, there was um, art on the stairs from the short yes. Luna. I was just going to say that. Were that, you? That, that this is based off that short called, I think it's called Luna or La Luna or something like that. Yeah. And it, like they get those little stars. So that's really cool that they based it off that short. It is cool. And it's a good short too. Yeah. And it's something that I don't know if everybody would know, but, but I think that's yeah. cool. Yeah. And if you don't know it, get off the ship. Yeah. We just noticed something in the carpet. I thought that I had found a hidden Mickey because I thought that this was like Sorcerer Mickey, but it turns out he's holding on to Gus Gus. Oh, Gus. I don't remember the name of the other mouse. But it's it's mice. But there's little details in the carpet. So I saw it. And look, here's the glass slipper, right? There's a pumpkin. And then over here is the carriage. Yeah. Okay, and then this is a different bird, but that's the Cinderella bird. It's like there's so many details on this ship. And that's what makes it so special. Yeah. It's like that, you can't even really describe how amazing it is without like seeing it. Yeah, I think they did a really good job. They did. This is a yeah. fun staircase. Yeah, we're going down the staircase in the lobby here. But I, okay, I know we've only been on the ship for like, maybe like a day and a half now. No, half a day. Half, <laughs> it's day two, but so far, I like the ship better than the other Disney ships, the other four Disney ships. I'm even debating if I like it better than Royal ships. Uh, I don't know about that, but... There's there's just, there's so much to explore and it's so, all of it is so well themed. Yeah. All of it. All of it. Yeah. Now this might change because we've only been on it like for a day, but as of now I think I like it better than the other ships and I've been on all the other Disney ships, so... And there's like subtle things that you can tell make it like new and upgraded, like this is a USB port. While you're sitting at the cafe, you can charge your phone or your laptop or, well, laptop probably not, but something. I'm really surprised like how much I like this ship. And, um, you know, the next three Disney ships are going to be this design because I think this is Triton class. So the next two new sh Disney ships after this will be just like this. We're already ready to go on the treasure. Yeah, the treasure, yeah. <laughs> so it's really smart that they put a stage in the lobby because they do so many like pop-up shows and events in the lobby so it just it, it's a great idea it is and here's the statue on the wish which is cinderella i love cinderella it's one of my favorites here's what i like about this this statue is that there's the little mice 
under her dress. Gus Gus and who knows who. And the cat is hunting them. With a teacup, so like, he really wants to like, close them off. I love that, that's my favorite part. Also, once again, they're playing music from the live action Cinderella, which is my favorite music of all time, and it's amazing. Something that I love in the lobby is also all these things from the designing of the ship. Here's like a, a smaller version of the Cinderella statue. And they will have like the different designs uh, that I feel like maybe they were thinking of using for the handrails. Yeah, it's just like different like carpet samples. Yeah. Um, that's like a model of the, the lobby. Oh, you can tell this is 3D printed. Wow. Um, and um, the plaques for the rooms, like testing out probably different designs. Look at that drawing room. too, it's so cool. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Oh, that's the that's the chandelier. Oh, but there's these displays everywhere. We could probably spend like 30 minutes going over everything. And everything. Yeah, like they're on this side and then on the other side. and. There's a lot to look at. So something I just noticed about the lobby is that there's no more glass elevators in the lobby anymore because on this ship, there is no mid-ship elevator shaft. You only have the forward and aft, just kind of how like Royal Caribbean is. On the older Disney ships, there was forward, mid, aft elevator things. We're big fans of a mid-ship elevator, so that's a little bit disappointing. Yeah, I, it's just a different design choice. I mean, this ship, it, it's, the design of the layout of like walking around is, I like it a lot um, because it is kind of like a maze in a good way, like we were saying before. I kind of I was thinking about this and it's like Islands of Adventure. Um, obviously, I love that park, but it's a complete circle. So it makes sense like on paper for a theme park. But because it's only a circle, it's not as fun to walk around that park. Whereas like walking around DCA is not just a straight circle. You're exploring, and you're fun. It's more fun to walk around. And that's why I kind of like this ship because it's like, you're like kind of like doing twists and turns and I don't know, I like it though. Well, we've arrived at our destination. <laughs> I don't know what on earth we're gonna do with this, but this is part of the um, Uncharted Adventure. Oh, is it? Yeah, we were supposed to find this. Okay, so we, we're continuing our game. I like that you could just pick up this game at any time. Me too. Okay, so we scan the artwork. This art is made out of tiles. Oh, stuff is coming out of it. Fireflies, fireflies. Oh, do we like kill them? I don't know. Try to get as many as you can into the jar. Okay, so we didn't have the jars before. Oh, so now we have a jar, so now we do it for real. That was a warm-up. Okay. Walk close to them and then move your device in a scooping motion. Oh, oh, God, they're everywhere. Oh. Oh, okay. So this is like augmented reality. It's kind of like, like, it's kind of like Pokemon Go in a way. <laughs> There's so many. Job. Now let's get these fireflies back to their home. <laughs> I think we look so stupid. We do. <laughs> <laughs> like people are getting their coffee and we're like <laughs> <laughs> by the way this is we're at the wishing star cafe and they have you know little pinocchio artwork here and across the way and at the bar they have a little jimmy cricket oh it's like the little 50th anniversary a statue yeah. yeah magic kingdom yeah let's get our magic band and leave it <laughs> Okay, Brian wants to play sh shuffleboard. I wanted to play this, so I made him do it first. Okay, we found the shuffleboard court, and this looks like it's regulation. This is big. This is regulation size. And look how nice and new these look. Oh, this is, looks good. Yeah, that's a good shuffleboard yeah, thingy. Okay, so right now, Carrie's winning by one, but I think we're doing pretty good on this court. Okay. If, you, if you're on the line, it doesn't count. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if anything has points right now. Yeah, but Carrie's winning by one, but I really like the shuffleboard court. It's very smooth, easy to operate. It's nice and operate. big. It is. Um, but yeah, we're on duck four. I love this outside portion, this outside section on duck four. I don't think there's any jogging track on this no. ship. We've noticed some somebody walking back and forth. It's about to happen right now. Um, and I feel bad. No, I don't miss it. Not well, of course it. we don't, but <laughs> someone else does. 10. Are you talking about me? Okay. I think we have nothing. So yeah. Because again, so if it touches round, the line, it doesn't count. Yes, so it's actually, line, line, line. That one's closed, but line. Yeah. So this is actually no points right now. Yeah. Here's what's crazy. The lifeboats are right above us. They're so low to us. I can touch the lifeboat. You know what's really funny though? As a person who's 5'2", I didn't even notice the lifeboat. <laughs> I don't think they're normally that low. No, but I, I kind of like that they're above us and not like out to the side of us. Yeah, I think it's cool that I can touch it. It's salty, it's salty. Really? Yeah. 
Well, that means they're testing them. That's good. Or I think just the splashing water. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Okay, I did really good that round. I got eight points because that one's on the line, so it doesn't count. But Carrie, meanwhile, into this thing. So she's gonna fall overboard while she tries to retrieve this. <laughs> Not to worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so Carrie gets eight points this one. Oh, 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 I don't think that's on the line. Oh my god, it literally can't get any closer than that. If it wasn't chipped, no, actually, if, even if it, if it wasn't chipped, wow, it doesn't, literally does not get any closer than that. I have 16 points and you have zero? Wow, yeah. What do I win? We didn't decide. I don't know. You have to pay for my um, drink of the day, non-alcoholic drink or today. Or your, your shopping spree that we're about oh, to go to. Yeah, that's much better. No. <laughs> you spoke to me. Look, that's probably the motion thing. When I was going to the bathroom down this hallway. Carrie's making a, oh. <gasps> Hi. I was gonna say you're making up lies again. No. Because Carrie told me, she's like, I would just walk by and Minnie talked to me. It scared me because I was walking down this hallway and I hear like, you and I'm like, wait, what? Hi. Oh, Why did it, it almost looked like we were about to like be teleported into a different portal or something. Did you see that? No. What does that mean? There was like rainbows and stuff. Baby, now you're seeing I don't know, I, I bet this is part of the game though. I think so too. It's interesting how like we can't just do this one. It's like we have to be assigned it in the app. Oh. Like you're assigned which painting to go to. It's yeah. interesting, it's cool. Yeah. Now we're gonna check out the main gift shop. This one's called Mickey's Main Sale. This is the one that has like all the stuff you really want in it. This is the stuff that we want. In For the instance, the Disney Wish Tumblr. Yeah, we're definitely getting this. It is a smaller sized uh, Tervis. I like those better. I like the big ones better, but wait, but we are getting that for sure. Yeah. Even these spirit jerseys are cool. Like, I feel like Brian needs this. Oh, I wish it had a zipper though, and I would get it. Oh. Look at this though. They have they have a magnet set. Wow. Just like how we sell Rip a magnet off. set. Just kidding. <laughs> this is where how we came up with the idea of ours. Oh, I think we saw. I, I think we saw they have a um, like a cling for your car. And I think mean, oh. that's how I came up with the idea. But this is really cool. You can put this on your stateroom door. But it's cool because it's just like the one that we made ourselves and sell on Etsy. Yeah. And you should buy. This is nice. Okay, this store is actually really big. And really nice. This is the I, nicest store we've ever seen on any cruise ship, I think. I think you're right. It goes on forever, it feels like. I didn't know it was going to be this big. It does all say wish. It doesn't just say cruise line. I, I really like that. I was just talking and I thought you were right next oh. to me and you weren't. <laughs> what did you say? I said, are these PJs? Do I need that? And oh. then like there was another guy and I think he walked further away and I'm like, whoops. Anyway, because this is the Disney wish, 10% um, of the profits go to the Make-A-Wish charity. That's so nice. That's really cool. Look at this succulent. <laughs> like, I can't believe they sell that and it, I actually like it. If you're gonna purchase something, I'm gonna purchase this. Well, I'm getting the Tervis. Are you? Okay, so I'm gonna just hold on to this. What is this thing? I don't know what this is. It might point- I feel like it's a ring holder. Like if you wore lots of rings and you wanted to go to sleep or like, I don't know, you're taking a shower, you're going bowling, mm. you put your rings on this. Bowling. <laughs> or you could poison someone by putting food on it. Oh, good. So I think all this stuff here is for the inaugural sailings. By the way, there's a Christmas tree up already. Oh, I didn't even really like register that. It's November 5th right now. But look, it, so everything here says inaugural sailings. They even have chocolate that says it. These, um, these bottles there. Um, there's so much. There's another jacket there that says Yeah, it's it. like the twin of this one, which says it here, which by the way, I'm getting this. <laughs> and um, this, this polo. Uh, literally, everything in this store is amazing. I could literally- We could buy the whole store. I'm we can make an hour long video. I'm not even kidding with all the, the merchandise in here. These ears are actually really cool. They say Disney Wish and they have Rapunzel because Rapunzel's on the back of our ship. That's all our little character on the wish. Brian has been searching throughout all the Disney parks for a full zip hoodie that is subtle and is his style. Yeah. And guess where we found it? Look at this. We found it. Full on zip. Disney. Full zip hoodie. Full zip hoodie, which is hard to find. I feel like for guy stuff, it's always just a hoodie hoodie. Inaugural sailing. Wow. I love Show the this. back. Show the back. Show the back. So and it's subtle. It's, it's not. It's not that flashy. It's not that flashy. Like, I've, I've like we've been going to like all the theme parks in Orlando. Like I've been looking for a full zip hoodie that's not like. It's very like in your face. The ones that are in yeah. the park. How much is it? I don't even care. I don't 
I don't even care. That's just that's Disney's MO. I, I feel like it's like Black Friday in here. It is. Because it's like people are going crazy. The store just opened. And it's like stuff is like running out. Like there's like sizes running out. There's so much cool stuff. I, I literally. And we're spending all this time trying this on, and you're not letting me shop. <laughs> the merchandise is so good. Okay, the medium is baggy, and the small is too tight. What do I do? I would say go with the baggy because to me, when you're wearing a hoodie, you're probably wearing like a long sleeve shirt under it, so you want it to be a little looser. Also, think about how much food we're gonna eat on this cruise. I feel like this is this is me. It is. Don't you think? You, I look at you and I'm thinking, that's Brian. This is top cruise fashion. Okay, where are you going? Okay, now take it, it off so it we too, can keep... No, it it's perfect. Baggy? Let's go. Is it too baggy? It's perfect. Okay, we're back in our room. Oh, he, is this a different fruit? Oh my gosh. And it's unwrapped, so I don't have go. to... Because the thing is, the other one was like wrapped up and I was like, I don't want to deal with that. I don't know if it's different or if you just unwrapped it. I don't know. Anyway. There's no coconut anymore. <laughs> Let's go over everything we got. First thing, Wish, Tervis, love the Tervis brand uh, mugs. I love making my tea in these smaller ones, so this is great for me. How much was it? This mug was $24.99. Okay, I got the hoodie, the full zip hoodie. So this was, um, turns out it was $70, well worth it. I love this hoodie. Wow, then was this one 80? Wow. Yeah, you should show it. Okay, so I got this one without looking at the price tag. <laughs> this was $80. But it's nice. I'm not so sure I would have spent $80 on it had I known, but it's just, really nice. Yeah. And I'm excited about it. I like, it's a good material for Florida. It's like long sleeves, but it's like light. Yeah, and we got these um, kitchen towels, which were $24.99. I think this is the best value thing that I got. This was a $50 PJ set. I can't tell you how like silky soft this feels. <laughs> and it comes with two different things. I gotta shake it out. So And shake it off. off. <laughs> There's a top and it's got the DCL logo and like cute little um, ropes on it. And then these pants, oh my gosh, look how cute. And they're like, they're for petite people. I didn't even know that, but look how nice. Wow. Okay, so now we gotta go get ready for our brunch at Nikki. Palo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we gotta go get dressed now and get ready for Palo. So. I have to get pretty. Yeah. We're heading out to brunch. We got yeah. all beautified. Dressed up, which by the way, um, so obviously our stateroom attendant was in here. Um, he cleaned the room in the morning. Here's something crazy. I left this cord here. He put a little tie on it. What? The, I had this, I plugged this USB in to charge my phone and it was just like, like out like loosey goosey. And he put this, this tie that to make it crazy. organized. Like, and he that's folded, next level. He folded all of our clothes. Yeah. Too. These were just strewn about and he folded them. Now, awkward part, there is underwear in there. <laughs> like, Which, and he did fold it. Here's another, you know, trick for your cruise. I got this dress out and, and it was really wrinkly. And I say, Brian, can I even wear this? Like, it's so wrinkly. And then we decide to try the hair dryer on the dress. And I feel like it got out a lot of the wrinkles. It's still yeah. a little wrinkly, but trick. Okay, so let's go. But I, I just love, I just love the sight of this. Like, look at this, the yeah. room and the ocean, and it's just, ah, oh, it's amazing. Okay, let's. We're go. a little late, so let's, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with this. Yeah. So we have to walk by the Rose um, Bar to get to Paolo. It's so beautiful. And by the way, I think Paolo is adults only. Oh. And I think um, that you can only do brunch on sea days. So we're really lucky that our three night cruise has a sea day, so we can do this. Okay, we got our table here, with right at the aft of the ship. This is amazing. Yeah, this I is the cannot aft, believe right? this. Yeah, this is the aft. I don't even know yeah. how to get out to this balcony. Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. It's really cool. Um, the view is yeah. gorgeous. Um, this restaurant is gorgeous. And I didn't know this restaurant was themed after Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, when we came in, there was um, Cogsworth on the logo. On the sign. Yeah. yeah. It's very subtle. Yeah. Classy. So you can't wear shorts in here. Yeah, um, like jeans, nice jeans are the minimum. Yeah. So we're in nice jeans. And then immediately after this, I'll change back into what I was wearing before, into my shorts again. But, um, you know, I'm wearing um, cruise high fashion. You really are. Is this, if, if you zoom in, it's hard to tell, but I have the DCL logo. Wow. That's fashion. That is fashion. Now, again, we didn't know that this was themed after Beauty and the Beast. Oh. But when we were in the room, I was like, don't I look like Belle, yeah, Brian? And so now I'm, you know, the Belle of Paolo. That is so funny. <laughs> They're going to think you did it on purpose. Well, I did. 
<laughs> so this is nice. They have sparkling apple cider that they offered to us. It was like Bloody Mary mimosa or sparkling apple cider. Perfect for us. It is. Oh, by the way, they set us so that we both are facing the view, which is, I, th I like that. I think that's ideal. Yeah. Imagine if you had four people, it's like, hey. <laughs> The bread looks so good. It looks like there's like caramelized onion on that. It does. And then there's like baked in basil, maybe? Well, we're gonna have to taste it to find I think it's focaccia. I don't know. It looks so good though. It looks amazing. Wow, okay. I have eggs benedict. It has rosemary, ham, hollandaise, and a poached egg. It looks really good. My main course is over here. Um, Italian sausage flatbread. Yeah. And then what do you have? And I got the chicken parm, which um, our waiter said this is like the most popular thing and yeah, people come to this brunch just for this chicken parm. That was highly recommended. Yeah. He sold me on this. I wasn't going to get this originally. Look at that poached egg. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay would just faint from it. <laughs> In a good way. Yeah. This food is so good. This is the greatest food of my entire life. I don't, there's no way we're gonna have anything better than this on the rest of the cruise. Like, this is amazing. I had Ed's Benedict, like, for the first time in my life, and it was the greatest thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. The chicken parm, probably the best chicken parm I've ever had. Same. I tried right. a little bit of his. Probably, yeah, definitely the best I've ever had. The and pizza. I love pizza, but I, like, because the other things shined so brightly, like this was a little bit less bright, but like, yeah. oh my God, this food is so good. The, so good. The Giovanni's Kitchen Pizza on Royal is better than this pizza. Right. But this restaurant is amazing. I'm in love. I love this place. I love this place. The food is so good. Yes. By the way, we learned that this outdoor area is for Paolo. Like it's this, like for this restaurant. This exclusive um, outdoor section for Paolo. There's like a secret door behind us. That, that's how you get there. And we actually learned um, that I was wrong about something which I didn't That think, never happened. I didn't think that was possible. No. Um, I must have been thinking of other ships or something, but um, they do Paolo brunch on sea days and on days where they're docked in Nassau. Because no one gets off the ship in Nassau. Literally nobody gets off the ship on, at Nassau because why would you? Because if you wanted to go to Nassau, you could go on Independence of the Seas for $200 per person and go to Nassau. Right. You, you're coming onto the Wish and you're paying a premium because you want to be on the ship and you want to go to Castaway Key. Yes. So, yeah, you're paying for Disney magic, not for Nassau. Um, and it's funny because when we were in Nassau on Independence, we saw nobody was getting off the ship. Uh, of the Disney Wish. Yeah, nobody was getting off. Everyone was getting off Independence. Nobody was getting off the Wish. Yeah. Um, and they, he, the, our waiter said the same thing that you know people stay on board in Nassau, and so that's why they do brunch here. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this place is amazing. This is the best food of our entire life. I love this place. Yeah. I wish we haven't even had dessert yet. Yeah, and I wish that. Um, so there's three main dining rooms, and we, it's a three night cruise. So like, we're we're not able to do this for dinner one night, but I'm glad we're able to do it for for brunch. I guess that just means we'll have to come back on board. I, I already want to come back on the list. Yeah, we're convinced. Like, I, I want to come back. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. This is a good ship. It is. For dessert, I got this chocolate raspberry tart. And I got a sticky bun. And I think there's like apples and pecans and it, stuff in there. It looks so good. It does. This is like Cinnabon. Oh, wow. But like, it's got apple -y flavors, so yeah. it's like elevated Cinnabon. Yeah. This is the Be Our Guest guest book that we saw the other day, but now there's a giant pen, and I have to sign it with this. Okay, the pen doesn't really it's work. It's beautiful, but it's hard. As far as functionality yeah. goes, well, we tried. <laughs> All right, that's supposed to say we've had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, someone drew a really well-drawn chip. That's amazing. That's crazy. People are getting really creative, and really? people are really good artists. Yeah, what the heck? Here. My goodness. Belle and the Beast. Whoa, that was cool too. Yeah. <laughs> and there's mine. Oh, it's horrible. Please come and find it. Okay, we finished up lunch. It was amazing. Seriously, love Paolo. Loved it. Yeah. We have stuff. We have some gifts. Wow, okay, so there's a thing here, and then there's this other thing here. Wow. Okay. What's on the door? Is it, so that's part of it? Yeah, well, this is from the McHughes. Wow. People have done so much better than that. Yeah, okay, let's bring it all inside. Okay. This person seems like they had the same idea as us, which is just one bag for the room. So I feel a little better about that. But mm. they have the tag. We don't have the tag. No, we never tag. I'm trying to get this out. I'm cold. <laughs> I need to go outside. Oh no. 
Ooh, is this, this is like one of those things that you bring to the beach and it's like a cup holder oh, that you really? put in the sand? I think so. Oh, it's like a, yeah. It's like a Mickey keychain. That's cute. Wait, is, there, is this really a cup holder? For I don't know, you take it. I guess Be it is. Be careful, the thing is in there. There's so much in here. My gosh. Oh, is this the same thing that we got? It's like a towel holder. Oh, it just is like a rubber band? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. What's this? Oh, a secret note. Disney Beach Day. In the dry bag, you will find two sand drink holders. Oh, Told cool. ya. Two bands to hold beach towels to beach chairs. Stole our idea. Baby powder to get sand off. Oh, that's interesting. Sunscreen lip balm. We haven't even found these things yet. So here's the sunscreen lip balm. Rubber ducky. That's funny. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll use anything that says duck. Yeah. And then there's a couple more of the keychains. And then here's the baby powder. I've never, I've heard the hack that you can use mm. this to get sand off, but I've never actually done it before. This is a good, good bag. Yeah, it is. Wow. Wow. So they put a little decal on it. And then look at this. This is where it's from. Oh, look, it's Mickey and Minnie. Oh. As pirates. Wow. Because before oh, they, the iPad. Before they captained uh, a cruise ship, they were captaining... Um, the Black Pearl. Yeah. And they were committing atrocities and crimes. That's right, kids. <laughs> well, that's cool. That, that's cool stuff. It is really cool. I'm, like, feeling worse and worse about what I we think, got. Oh, I think our stuff is fine. Is it? Okay. I hope so. So we came out to the sun deck, the concierge sun deck, and the regular pool deck was packed. There is a hot tub and, and now, nobody's in it. And here's a hot tub with nobody in it, and it's not even that busy here. And the regular pool was packed. I... And no one's in that waiting pool over there. Like, this is amazing. The life. It is so nice. There's so many chairs available. And I still... I can't get over this situation. Like... Like, the sunscreen that's just They adorable. have sunscreen just... And different kinds of sunscreen. And the towels are nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, we just... Look we what just, I just found. <laughs> we just found something and I'm... This read is this sign. Mind. Read it. Just okay. read it out loud. A uh, Dole Whip smoothie. What? 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 So have, if you're not a fan, you could also have raspberry. Raspberry Boo. Raspberry's bad. Do you think you could like mix them together with that taste? You probably could. Oh my god. But this is a self-serve... It's amazing. Dole Whip smoothie? Are you kidding me? I am not kidding. Which one are you going to try? I kind of like the raspberry one. Just to be different, because I know which one you're getting. Is it good? It's good. I think it's yogurt based. I gotta have the Dole Whip smoothie one. I cannot believe this is here in self-serve. Amazing. For the taking. This is insane. <laughs> Let's see how it is. Try it. Is it good? Does it taste like it's in the park? This, it tastes like a Dole Whip smoothie. It, it's, it, this is very good. Wow, it, I kind of want some of that. It's different than a Dole Whip. Wow, how so? Thicker, creamier? You know what it is? It's like, the, it, it tastes like a Dole Whip. It's just like, like a blended Dole blended. Whip. Blended. Yeah. Yep. Don't mind uh, this nice seat that we have chosen for we'll ourselves. Look at this, look at this. You picked up this one in the shade, but what's really cool about this is you it's swivel. It's swivel. It swivels. It swivels. There's a table for our for our smoothies. For our Dole Whip. I cannot believe they have Dole Whip smoothies. I would like to say that we saw that you can purchase a Dole Whip at Wheezy's yeah, Freezy's if you're not in concierge. So it's not like that's a regular Dole Whip though. It's not a smoothie. That's true. I want to try that later. Yeah. Compare them. I love concierge. We can only sell concierge. It's amazing. It's amazing. We're gonna have to get richer. <laughs> <laughs> this is the life, and I'm never going back. It's amazing. This is all I can do for the also, rest of my life. Also, what I realized is we really shouldn't have bought the rainforest room back in. We just don't have enough time to use it. We don't have enough time. For and like, look how nice this is. We should use it on a trip where we don't have concierge. I, I literally feel like, why go to the rainforest room if you have this? Yeah. Lesson learned. Yeah, lesson learned, yeah. So we both just woke up. <laughs> Laying out here has been amazing. It's been the I, best day of my life. I cannot tell you enough how amazing concierge the concierge sun deck is amazing i've never felt so relaxed in my life it is so nice out here and i obviously we haven't done concierge on any other disney cruise but i don't think that the sun deck and lounge is this big because from what i remember on the other ship it was kind of enclosed mm, yeah. but like we're at the very front of the ship and we use the ocean all around like we can see the ocean and everything and i don't think the other concierge decks have that like it, it's a this is a great spot and it's huge it's amazing two hot tubs and a waiting pool and 
I want for nothing. I was saying this to Brian. I like. I have all the soda that I need. Even if Wait. I wanted a non-alcoholic cocktail, there's a Dole Whip right there and I can have it. It's so nice that you can just walk up to the fridge and get soda or water or whatever. And oh, and by the way, we walked downstairs, we ordered ourselves a couple of snackies. Yeah, we saw people um, getting food delivered and we're like, whoa, we could order some food? We want to order some food. I'm not even hungry. And they have like a special lunch menu, so we ordered some food, uh, just a little snack, you know. No big deal. We have to, we have to try it. We're in concierge, of course. It's amazing. It like hurts me to think that we'll never do this again. I woke up from my nap and I overheard this conversation. I don't, I don't know if we should talk about it. We, like, we we're just like, we're kind of like waking up from our nap and uh, there's some people, you know, next to us and they're like, yeah, you know, we were downstairs in the jewelry shop and we we're looking at a watch, it was a hundred grand and we think we're gonna go back down and get it. And I'm just like, and uh, we think like, we're gonna buy the five thousand dollar drink. I was I was waking up. Oh yeah, they're like, oh, we might get the five thousand dollar Star Wars drink. I was waking up. I'm like, wait, someone's buying a hundred thousand dollar watch. Like what? Like, these are our people now. Yeah, it just this feels is, like this is where we belong. This is where we belong. <laughs> just a twenty six year old and a twenty nine year old. No house, no kids. Uh, I don't know if we should include this because I don't know if we should be talking <laughs> about. Scenes. <laughs> I don't know if we should be talking about people buying hundred thousand dollar watches. I don't know, but good I, for I, them. I, th I thought it was. I thought it was funny when we woke up. Maybe we someday watch. we'll exchange our Apple Watch for a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> I'd rather have an Apple Watch than a hundred thousand. I think I would too. Too much pressure to have. It's like, what do you? What would you rather have, a Tesla or a hundred thousand dollar watch? Yeah. Doesn't it's scary to wear like a car around your <laughs> wrist? <laughs> and possible, unless you're the Hulk. Right. Like, no joke, it is the best. Sir, the cast members here are the best. We have not spoken to someone who has been mean. We've talked to like two or three different like people in the lounge, in the concierge lounge, who have been so helpful. Yeah. We talked to our stateroom attendant, nicest person in the world, our waiter at Palo today. Amazing. Gave us so many helpful like tips and hints and like was just chatting with us. Nicest person in the world. Yeah. What's going on? It's I'm amazing. so confused. It's, <laughs> ah. <laughs> Do you think that the price of concierge is worth it? Um, ah, uh, I don't know, but it's an amazing experience. I know that. I, I would love to do it again. It, so let me just say, it's blowing me away. It really is. The service is, it's the best service you could ever ask for for anything. How many cruises have we done? And like, I don't think we've ever been this blown away by like service this, and like, yeah. This is our 11th cruise. I am completely blown away by concierge. Same. I did not think it was gonna be this cool. No. I knew it was gonna be cool and like something special we were doing. I'm literally blown away by it. It's amazing, at least on the Wish. I don't know about the other ships, yeah. but the, the lounge here is amazing. The ship is really blowing me away too. The ship is a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna be. And this is an amazing, we're having a great time. We haven't even explored it enough. There's so much that I'm like, oh my it's God, so, we didn't even yeah. do that. Like, we haven't done that. I wanna come back on the Wish. Me too. I, I, I really do wanna come back. It, I think it might be easier for easy for us to do because it's, it's gonna have that three night sailing every Friday, so yeah. we'll see. But I mean, I, we're not gonna do concierge again, obviously, but... Um, but you know, I, it's I, good research for us to see both sides. I I, I love I, I if 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 you want to splurge and do concierge, I think it's amazing. It, on the wish, fantastic! I'm so glad we got the fifty percent off coupon because oh my goodness. otherwise we wouldn't be doing. How do we get another one of those? They need to cancel yeah. another one of our cruises. <laughs> we need let's let's book a, the inaugural sailing on the Disney Treasure. So they, and then hope that they there's yeah. a construction delay and then you can get another 50% off coupon, which I don't even, like, what they gave us 50% off, like, that's a huge, like... I'm so grateful like, that they canceled. Like, they could have given uh, gave us, um, gave in, they could have gave us a 20% off discount, yeah. and I think that would, uh, like, justify the cancellation, but I agree. 50%. But don't say that, because then that they could hear you. <laughs> uh, Disney, next time we need a 75%. Yeah. No, because we were thinking, like, should we do an Alaska cruise with this discount because it, you know, or a Norway cruise or like a really expensive other Disney cruise, but I'm glad I'm glad we did this. This is amazing. This is amazing. I love this ship. Let's, what else can we say? Let's eat. Where's the food? <laughs> so we moved over from our little day bed thing to this table that's right here. 
And yeah. we didn't have enough food at brunch. We didn't. Well, we need something to, you know, tide us over until um, our dinner. Our early dinner. So Carrie got the um, chicken, chicken panini. panini. It looks really good. Yeah, but look how good yours look. Mine looks amazing. This is the All-American Sliders. And, um, you know, just like everything else in the concierge, like from the soda to the drinks, everything, it's, it's all included, free. I mean, yeah, included is a better word. Yeah, <laughs> and um, it, they look amazing. And, and this was like, we didn't really know that there was like things that you could order from here. Kind of hidden. We only knew because other people out here ordered. It. Yeah, because there's like a food um, counter with snacks. Yeah. We didn't know you could order like. This custom is different. Stuff. This like, is special. It's like made to order stuff here, and it looks. I mean, that looks amazing. This is so good. Really. Like, I'm I'm hungry all over again. <laughs> but we have to take it all in. We have to do all the concierge stuff we can. We gotta take advantage of it and get the full experience, you know what I mean? You know what you should do before you come on board? Expand your stomach. Don't do what other people do and diet. You need to yeah. make sure that your stomach is prepared for something like this, like and a muscle stretch. Get surgery if you can. Yeah. This is really good. <laughs> the sliders are amazing. If you're ever in the concierge lounge or sun deck, get the sliders. They were so good. But now we're gonna go look at the other shops that we didn't get to check out yet. And then after that, there's a tour that we're doing. What is, I forget the name of the tour, but I don't either. We we had it. We signed up for it on the app. It's a tour of the whole ship, I think. So we'll tell you in a couple seconds. Yeah, this store is called Dory's Forget Me Nots. Get it, like Dory, because she forgets everything. Yeah. And so I'm guessing this is like stuff that you might have forgotten, like flip flops or sunscreen or stuff like that. Hats. I think I want this. You're getting that? Yeah, these are like the pants with the open slit. So like you wear your swimsuit underneath? Yeah. Look how cute. And there's little Mickeys. Where? Um, right there. Oh, that's it's cool. Like, it's not even a Mickey. It's a DCL logo. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. There's so much stuff. Are you getting this? I kind of think so. I wanted this on the Disney Dream. Do you remember? Yeah, you me? almost got it, but then you ended up not getting because it. Because the store was closed when I wanted oh. it. This is why I was like, we need to come here now. Yeah, we were just thinking that the stores when they do three nights on this normally, like must not be ever open because- When you go to Nassau, it can't be open. Yeah, because when you're in port, the stores are closed. And like, because think of it, boarding dates closed, Nassau closed, Castaway Key probably closed. And so Is this my outfit for Castaway tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, so like probably normally they're it's only open like at night, I don't know. Oh my god, that's the cool. game. This is a shirt for the game that's in the, the app, I Uncharted Adventure. That. That's cool, I think it's for kids only. Okay, it's adventure, not, it's oh. not plural. I think oh, we've been calling it adventures, <laughs> whoops. I feel like we mess up because of ordinary adventures. But look at all these like Disney Wish specific um, shirts. Like this is, this is the, the place that has the Dole Whip on the Wish. And obviously Rapunzel because she's on the back of the Wish. Um, Cinderella because she's the, the statue. Ship hip hooray. Maybe, well, there is a frozen restaurant oh, yeah. and there's an Avengers restaurant. And look, this is the Aqua Mouse, but it's Scuba Scramble. When we were on it, it was all about scuba stuff. And I think there might be different, like, stories when you're writing. Oh, that's interesting. When we were writing, it was all about that, that, it was all about that squid. But I think there's different, like, scenarios you can go on on the ride. I believe. I'm not Well, I think sure. we need to go on again to confirm this. Yeah. This is a shirt for the Hyperspace Lounge, which is the Star Wars. Oh, Wars. that's genius of them. And here's some other, um... Disney Wish shirts. Like, so this one says Swiss Meltdown. So I think that's a, the other scenario. Oh. I, I can't believe how many like Disney Wish specific. Look, this says Wish You Were Here. I love that. You don't, you're not one for graphic tees. I'm not. You know what I think is cool? I've seen this like yellow shirt around the parks a lot and yeah, they made a Disney, Disney Cruise Line yeah. one. I've seen it say Disney World or Disneyland. Yeah. I do really like the Aquamouse one because I think it's cool to have a shirt, but I'm going to get this. I never get graphic tees. You really don't, but... It's a very rare occasion. It's cool. But I'm getting it. Okay, we got another thing at our door. What is this? Wait. Oh, oh this is from Disney. It's, that's funny that they put it in there. What does it say? Oh, because this is for our cabana tomorrow, because we got a cabana at Castaway oh. Key. We really took advantage of oh. concierge wait, wait. by getting the cabana. Yeah. Kind of a splurge, but it's fun. Really, the only way you could book a cabana is by being in concierge because they sell it so quickly. So I guess it's just a map. And what it includes. Oh, okay. There's a shower, fresh fruit. Bike rental for an hour, did you know that? Wasn't Snorkel equipment, which one, look, ours is highlighted on there. Yeah, number, number eight. eight. Right by Minnie Mouse. Yeah, so we'll see that tomorrow. <laughs> right by Minnie. <laughs>
that's why we got it. While we're talking about um, like concierge, concierge perks and stuff like that, um, the internet is included for us, so we don't have to pay any fee for an internet package that's included with the room. Now, is it good internet? No. It doesn't work. It literally does not work. And we were walking by guest services and we heard someone complain to someone at guest services like, I can't even open my email. And that's how it is. But that's, that's how, how it is, is on every ship. Honestly, Independence a few weeks ago was pretty good. It was good. With the Starlink internet, it yeah. was good. But 99% of the time, doesn't matter what ship you're on, the internet just does not work. And that's you're on a three night cruise, so I mean like. Yeah, it's okay. It is annoying because like I'm, I do try to check my email too and it's like I can't get it to load. And my kitty cat is home and there's like a cat sitter who's sending me pictures of my kitty cat and it's like, I can't get my pictures of my kitty cat. Now I don't want to be annoying, but uh, this cruise has been amazing so far, honestly. <laughs> like I, I know we- Can we say it enough? I don't know if we, if we can't say it enough, but it's just like, I don't know, every, like, the, we, we really love the ship, we love concierge, blown away by concierge. We're having, we're literally having the best time. I feel like, so, like, <sighs> It literally feels like this might be, like, one of our best cruises. Yeah, like, and it's, it's only a three so night. I feel like we only yeah. feel like it's a good cruise if it's more than seven. Yeah, like, normally our favorite cruises are the seven-nighters or more. But this is up there in, in terms of like good. some of our best. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. So inside there, I think it's called like the keg, it's keg and compass. compass. They're showing um, football right now, and it's like packed in there. Oh, it's probably college football because it's Saturday. Oh yeah. But anyway, we're go going. Cogs. Um, the tour we're doing is called Walking the Wish, um, and we have to go to the, the bar we were in this morning. Enchanted Sword Cafe. Sword. That's what the meeting point for the tour. It turns out this is not the the, the cafe that we were at earlier. They're it so looks, similar. It looks just like it. This is the Enchanted Sword. I think we were at the Wishing Something yeah, Cafe. But when we were in the store, this is the one that's like right outside the store. Yeah, the store's right here. But look, they gave us a little headset. This is amazing. So we're gonna put this on our ear, and here's a little like receiver for it. But this is cool because now like we can kind of hang back yeah. and we'll still be able to hear everything the tour guide is saying, you know? I really like that. This is like the bureau. Yeah, we just did an escape room where we had to put on an ear thing like that. And it was a scary escape room and like a ghost was talking in our ear. It was horrible. This thing is cool. You can change the volume of it. I feel very cool. With I do. I feel like official and it seems like I paid for this experience. It is free. You don't have to pay anything for it. You just have to sign up in the app. Reserve your spot. Yeah. And we were able to change our time today. Like originally we had 1.30 and then we were able to switch it to 3.30. Yeah. So. Our tour guy was just talking about this painting and how I never, I never noticed this before, but this is under the water. This is the engine stuff that's under the water of the ship. This is the cast laundry room and like this is the cast kitchen. And she said like she gets her coffee here. This is a cast area and the cast um, dining room and stuff. So like cool. That. I feel like we should come back to this. Oh, I also like how the, the um, Rapunzel lanterns are up here too. So here's a, another piece of art that they that she pointed out on the tour. And she said that like little hidden things come by like this where like this guy just popped up and like there's the, the horse pulling Minnie down there and like you'll just be looking at this and you'll notice like something will change every like something will pop out that you haven't noticed before and this is pretty cool i really like this yeah i'm waiting for something new to happen yeah so we finished up the tour um it was more of like a tour of the ship rather than like behind the scenes um i kind of knew it was going to be that but i thought I we would know. get new information i feel like we kind of already found everything that she talked about yeah i i did think it was going to be behind the scenes but it was still cool to see like and see the whole ship yeah Here's one thing that she said that we didn't know is, so we're in the aft right now, and so this the carpet is blue. She called it like enchantment theming. She called it like, it was the color of like magic. And the lights have a carriage, whereas in the forward the lights have a bird, which I think we showed in yesterday's vlog. Yeah, so you know you're in the aft when the carpet's blue. Yeah. And also on the map, you can see that the aft elevator shaft and stairs is blue and the mid, or the forward is green. And more obviously, it'll just say aft on it. <laughs> yeah, it'll just say aft, but also it's like, that's blue and that's green. Yeah. That's cool, I never yeah. noticed that before. That's cool. So now we're in the forward elevator bank and where the stairs are, and it's all green. She said it's all like nature-y, and there's like birds in the lamp now, and it's like foresty kind of. That's kind of cool. It took until now to get ice cream. That's crazy. We had other ice cream, but that's, oh, that's true. That was the pay for it ice cream. Yeah, this is completely look, different. Look how good this looks. It's awesome. It tastes good. From Sweet Minis. 
It's so cool that they have this whole setup here now. I didn't even realize that this like bar was here. No, I didn't realize. This it. is a really good setup with the like yeah. food court thing. It's nice or food festival. I have an invention. I just thought of this invention. I'm a genius. Well, maybe you should invent it before you tell everyone. <laughs> How come they don't invent an ice cream cone that has a little like secondary bowl down here? to catch all the drippings, because look how much it's dripping, it's a mess. And then I feel like that part, it should taste extra good. Because you could just slurp you, up the rest that's all melted. Yeah, and it would make the stuff taste good. I'm going on Shark Tank. Do it. I've watched so much, I know everything. You, you know what I mean? Like a, a bowl to well, scoop first, up the drippings. I would like to say, first Brian said, why don't they just make one with a bowl? And then I said, how are you gonna lick it? And then I said, it has to be a secondary bowl. And yeah. then that's how we came up with this. So don't if think I that had, this is all Brian's idea. I had the idea at first though, but. Yeah. I helped him flush it out. What would they say on Shark Tank if I brought this idea to them? How many sales do you have? Zero. And for those reasons, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Way out there in the distance. I don't know if you can see it. There's a ship and it looks like it's at an island. And I, I just asked Brian, hey, do you think that's the fantasy docked at Castaway? And now we're pulling up Cruise Mapper. I'm pulling up Cruise Mapper right now. If so, that means we've passed um, Castaway. We haven't passed it, it's right there. Wait, I can't get the internet working. Oh my God. That's totally it. I knew it. Literally. That, that's the fantasy, and that's Castaway Key, way down there. We're right there. That's crazy. Like we were going very slowly towards Castaway, but we, we, you know, we're here already. That's we have to get there tomorrow morning, but we're already here. Yeah, we're just gonna circle around the island. Maybe? It's not very far from Port Canaveral, and it, we have a full day at sea, so. Well, let's just can we swim out to it? Take one of the lifeboats and get there now. I bet I can make that swim. Yeah, I think so. By the way, this this is becoming a disaster. <laughs> you need your invention. The ship is gonna sink with how much ice cream is dripping onto the deck. Does it show up on the camera? Is it blown out? No, it's fine. Isn't that so cool that we spotted that? That is so neat. Yeah. That's awesome. This is just a small little thing, but I think it's really cool. They have a hand washing station. So you can get all the, you know, melted ice cream off your hands. And also for the food festival, it's always good to washi-washi before you eat. It's cool that you they have this right here, like just right on the pool deck. I love that. And they've even themed it to like a barrel. Who are they? I don't know. And there's also a monster watching you wash your hands. Multiple? Yeah. It's freaky. We came back to the room because we got to get ready for dinner soon and change. Oh, by the way, it's pirate night. And they started playing the music in the hallways and on the TV and stuff. Yeah, but here, here's where we are. There's a ship. Confirms it. There's a ship. Okay, there's another. There's a lot of ships. Well, I need to get my glasses, my sunglasses. Whoa. Is that a perfect day? Oh my God. Is this the opposite side of where we saw Castaway? Yeah, this is, we're on the opposite side of the ship now. What ship is that? That's a celebrity ship right there. You can tell. I see like a couple of towers over there, which is why I think it's like the the ultimate abyss or whatever. No, that's not what it's called. Daredevil's Tower Peak? Yeah. yeah. That's definitely a celebrity ship though. You can tell by the X, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's like the edge, um, the, the magic carpet. What do they call it? Yeah, I don't know. Three ships in the distance and then there's another one on the other side because that's Castaway. Yeah, this is like one of the perks of having a balcony. Like you'll go to your room and you'll see like cool stuff, you know? Literally, I mean, I interrupted Brian whatever he was doing. And I was just <laughs> was like, fuck. <laughs> By the way, a crazy fact about this ship is only 10% of the, the rooms on board here do not have an ocean view. So only 10% of the rooms are interior on this ship. It's just crazy because they, they just design them to have ocean views, which is smart because that's what people want and uh, they can make more money and it's good for everybody. Yeah. Well, we should get ready for a uh, pirate night dinner. Oh, we're having dinner at Marvel, I think. I'm, I'm, here's the thing. I'm not a Marvel fan, but I'm excited to see what this show is all about. There's like yeah. something cool on your table, I think. Oh. Like a object that's like techie. I don't know, we'll find out. Do you still have Cruise Mapper pulled up? Yeah. I wanna know what those are. Oh, okay, good idea. All right, so I looked it up on uh, Cruise Mapper. So um, we did pass by Coco Key and it's wow. freedom and liberty at Coco Key. Wow. And then it's the celebrity beyond. Um, that was the other ship that we saw. Wow. So that's really cool. That is amazing. And we knew. But anyway, this is the other thing we were going to say. We get a time zone change tonight. 
So we get we go back one hour. We get an extra hour. We get an extra hour on board. I love that. That's amazing. That's really cool. What time does it actually happen? Tonight. Two o'clock. I think like 2 a.m. this morning. That, that's awesome. We get an extra hour on board. If you do the math and how much you pay per hour for the cruise, <laughs> we've just made so much money. Wow. <laughs> I, you did something that I hate, though, dear. What? You said 2 a.m. in the morning. Oh. <laughs> well, sorry. I'll forgive you. But, like, literally, like, we were, like, before we went on the cruise, we are like, oh, that we fall back on the cruise, and so we'll get to go, on, we'll be on the ship more. <laughs> it's only an hour, but it's... It counts. It counts. <laughs> Our dinner tonight is in Worlds of Marvel. They have this really cool 3D, like, sort of sculpture thing. It looks cool. So this place is called Worlds of Marvel. Wow. Plural worlds? Yeah, there's multiple worlds. Wow, it's very, like, techy, like, sci-fi in here. This is the thing I was talking about. There's some tech element of this, and I don't really know what it is. So this is going to self-destruct at the end of the meal. Yeah, killing us all. Or, like, wipe our memory or something. Wow. It looks really neat in here, though. I like it. Zero-proof cocktails. Yeah, so it's pirate night, but there's not a pirate menu tonight. No. It's just a regular menu, because three-night cruises don't have a pirate night menu. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah, we're going to get the zero-proof cocktail. Of course. There's two of them. We're going to get one of each. Yeah. Which one's Brian getting? One's called the Quantum Core, one's called Wakanda Forever. I'm Wakanda Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Have I seen the movie? No. You literally haven't seen the film. <laughs> it's not a movie, it's a film. Oh, sorry. Look at the plate. Whoa, it has the A for Avengers. Can I turn it on or something? Yeah, turn it on. There's a button. Oh, mash it. People are going to steal these. <laughs> Even the napkins are themed. It's hard to tell, but there's a little Avengers A there in the napkin. Like, that's going to get stolen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By me. <laughs> I just noticed something else. Look at the forks. Wow. Even the forks have the Avengers A. Is Sola anything in Avengers World or is that just the brand? I think that's the brand. <laughs> There's no animator's palette on this ship. This is this. the animator's so palette. This is kind of cool though. It's interesting. The, the TV screens seem very uh, well pixelated, like in a, well, how do you say yeah. that in a techie word? Um, it's a high high density of pixels. Yeah, high definition. 4K, probably. Say, yeah. Maybe 8K, I don't know. It looks good. Here's the menu here, another Avengers A. Eh? And so, oh, entrees assemble, huh? But anyway, <laughs> so it says like pork chop from Wakanda, I guess. I guess they have pork chops in Wakanda. And oh, this one's cool. This one says lamb shawarma from the shawarma palace in New York City. I don't know what that is. That's from like the first Avengers movie. Oh. They get shawarma. I've actually seen that and I, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, this one, this is a bow bun from Webb, which I think Webb is the DCA ride maybe. Like the slingers? Yeah, Webb slingers maybe. I don't know. Can you tell that we're not like the biggest of Marvel fans? <laughs> I used to be, but I it just it I, fell off. I fell I'm so off. Excited though, like look how cool it looks in here. Yeah, it was just like there was just so much to watch I couldn't keep up. Okay, we got our bread and it looks cool. This is like the colors of Marvel. Yeah, and then he said that we're gonna learn how to use this later. They're gonna tell us what to do. Ant Man and Wasp are gonna tell us what to do. Wow, that sounds scary. Is Wasp the lady from Lost? Kate. Kate. Yeah. Yeah, that's Kate. That's all I know about. It. <laughs> when she left the island, she got was transformed into a wasp. Wow. Maybe that's what was happening on the island. Yeah, and that's that's canon. Wow. I guess <gasps> I made this. Oh my god. A gust. Just one. Wow. Adorable that you think you made a swan. He just tossed it on the anyway, floor. I don't want to shrink this suitcase. Target acquired. Whoa. Prepare to push your button. Are you ready? Push the button in. Yeah. Three, two, one, activate! Wow! Pretty sweet, wow. right? It like, it literally shook the table. There's a giant Gus! Oh, oh my oh, god. What is that? That is your towel spot. Oh. Yeah, I see what you mean. That's terrible. Why do that enlarge? That was pretty cool. I really like our quantum core. It just like lights up based on what they're talking about. And? giant Gus? Yeah. You know we're gonna like that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna have to cut this, but Ant-Man was literally like, 
I know people are wondering, why didn't I shrink down to the size of an ant and go up Thanos' butt? Okay, but he didn't say that. But that's what he, he implied. That's what he implied, which is crazy. It is a little crazy. Also, I've never thought that. Also, I've never thought about Ant-Man at all. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like they're gonna cut that, because like, that's crazy for a dinner show. Shrink down, go in, and uh, kill Thanos in a really creative way. First of all, gross. Okay, we got our zero proof drinks. Mine is the Quantum Core, which is vanilla ice cream, mango, pineapple, and pop rocks. And I have the Wakanda Forever, which is strawberry, banana, caramel, and Coke Zero, which I'm kind of confused by this color. It's, yeah, I guess it's very strawberry. The Coke Zero is funny. Yeah. But it sounds cool. And also, I guess this is Pop Rocks too. It wasn't yeah. on the ingredients list, so that's why when he brought it over, I was like, this is it? It's bow time. We each got one of these pork belly bow buns. Which, by the way, this is kind of like kind of like the um, Asian style pork taco on Royal that we just oh, had. Oh, that's a good point. So I thought it was really funny that they have this because it's, it's going to go head to head with the Royal one. By the way, look at this salt and pepper shaker. So like, I guess this is the salt and then it goes into the pepper thing. That's really cool. There's just a lot of like small details. How's the um, bao bun? It's good. I don't think I got like enough in my bite. Like it's like only bao right now. So I'll okay. come back. That can happen. Okay, my dinner disappeared into a different multiverse. I wonder if Ant-Man shrunk it down so much I, yeah. it's not even visible anymore. I think that's what happened. Um, no, actually uh, we got our food when um, the little show element was happening and they were like they shrunk the ship down to the size of like a duck we both got the same thing we both got the chicken schnitzel very good which is which is from sokovia or something apparently i don't know or germany <laughs> yeah it was actually really good like i i really liked it me too there's like caramelized onions on the potatoes yummy green beans i like this restaurant's food so far so it's a very loud restaurant in here um you know you have a lot to look at you have the show elements you know sometimes you do have to like shout to your server um but it's fun i like it it's not a restaurant where you are like having a conversation the dinner is about the show the dinner is about the show it's fun i like it um but it's a little quiet right now so we can do our dinner question this is from allison r What's your favorite WDW park and favorite ride at that park? She said WDW. If she just said Disney, I would say Indiana Jones Adventure at Disneyland. Well, wait, you have to say your favorite park and then you have to say your favorite ride at the park. We're not picking our favorite okay. ride. This is so tough because my favorite WDW park... Okay, the thing is, if I, if I was gonna say ride, I'd probably say like Rise or Tower of Terror at Hollywood Studios. Right. But That's not your favorite part. Favorite WD part. It's probably Epcot. Yeah. And um, so my favorite ride there, I'm gonna say probably Frozen Ever After. I think it's I think it's a really good dark ride, and I think it's amazing that they were able to turn Maelstrom into that. And I think they got very creative with how they made the ride because I I've always thought this, but if, if you give a creative person a blank page and, and they can do whatever they want, brand new, a brand new building, with, they can make any ride they want, um, they're not going to be as creative as if you give them restrictions of here's a track and a ride system that's already in place. I think that made them more creative and I think... You got a good ride. Up. I think it's pretty amazing what they were able to do. Yeah. I think it's a really cool ride. What's your favorite? Um, park and ride at that park. Okay, well, first of all, since you started this way, I'm gonna start by saying my favorite ride is Space Mountain at Magic Kingdom. However, the question is your favorite park, and my favorite park is Epcot. Now, you didn't explain why, but Epcot is my favorite park because when I was a kid and you'd walk into Future World and you could smell the water from the fountain and the music that was playing was like, da na 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 na, da na. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And it was great. But they since have gotten rid of that fountain and gotten rid of the music, but I still love it because now I'm discovering all the amazing festivals and all the great food they have. And that's why Epcot's great. I love that music. Now I am shocked that Brian didn't say that Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind is his favorite ride. And it's the greatest ride. It's basically, if you take Space Mountain, 
remove the nostalgia factor, but add like some really smooth ride tracks and like okay. great music, and it's fantastic. Okay, I'm changing my answer to um, Cosmic Rewind. Actually, okay, good. <laughs> because that ride is amazing. It is so good. It is way more fun than um, Frozen ever. No, I agree with what you said about Frozen. It's a great ride, but Guardians is better. Yeah, it is. I don't know what I was thinking. I think the Cosmic Rewind is so new that I forgot that it existed for a second. It's like Taylor Swift. I forgot that you existed. Okay, but but no, Cosmic Rewind is better than Frozen. That's my new answer. I'm sorry. You stole, you stole it from the me? The thing is that Indiana Jones Adventure is actually my number one, but yeah, I don't know. I've never been on that ride. That's very sad. We need to go to Disneyland so you can go on it. I want to. In your bottles now! Well, we saved the day somehow. We did. I don't know how, but we did. And Ant Man and Wasp were thanking us. Yeah, they came out, which was really cool. And then they drew a Mickey bar. Yeah. Which is really funny. I hope they do that to our desserts. Yeah, for real. Yeah, we, we were handed um, some top secret um, intel. Yeah. And it was the dessert menu. Yeah. Um, I, oh, you know what's really funny is they said, um, they said, don't take this home. But they didn't say anything about the napkins. You stole my joke. <laughs> I said that first, and Brian's trying to say it louder like every man. <laughs> Typical man. I like this restaurant. It, it's cool. It's very... It's very chaotic. It's so chaotic. But it's fun. It's like, it's such a difference than like Royal. Like Lo Royal, like the main dining room is like very quiet and calm. Kind of stuffy. Yeah. Here, it's like, you literally can't talk to the people at your table. Yeah. It's just, it's madness. And thank God, because I don't want to talk to Brian. But like sometimes, like it is fun. Like it is, I, I like it a lot. But, I enjoyed it. And I think if you don't want that, you could go to Paulo or the other adult dining room. Yeah. But I like it. It's 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 fun. It's like it's something to do while you eat. It's I, I like it a lot. And Paul Rudd told me I did a good job. So there's that. Here's the real grand finale of this meal. I got the key lime pie. And I have the sticky date pudding. I like this restaurant. It's fun to have a show while you eat. It's yeah. It's really nice now. I feel like it's less loud. Yeah. I can hear myself think. It, it does get very loud in here. They might need like um, sound dampeners on the ceiling or on the pillars or something. That's my one recommendation because I love the show and I think it's a really great atmosphere. But I think they need some like sound canceling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. This is a pirate thing. I love you. This is crazy. We walked out of the restaurant and came into the lobby, and it's 7.30 exactly, and I guess a show is happening at exactly 7.30, and it's a little pirate night show that's happening. I love this. This is actually really cool. Wow. Whoa. That was cool. I loved that. So we're using another concierge perk for the show tonight. So the show tonight in the main theater is um, The Little Mermaid. Love it. One of the perks we have of being in concierge though is they told us to go to deck two. Three. No, they said go to deck two. What? Yes. And they, um, the, nor the theater's on deck three, but they said go to deck two. What? And go down the secret hallway and we'll be able to enter the theater before anyone else. I think it's here. It says, it says entrance. They said to come down here and we get to pick our seats before they let the, like, let anyone else into the show. Anywhere, choose a seat, wherever you want to sit. Oh, wow. Enjoy. Wow, this is awesome. This is cool. Wow. Do you hear the sea? I, I hear the sea. There's a, a treasure chest. We're going we're gonna to be able to pick our seat. We're going to get front middle. Middle, okay. This is amazing. So here's a good look at the theater too. Do you want to sit like here? Yeah. Okay, this is amazing. Here's the stage. We won't be able to film the show, obviously, but this is so cool. I love this. This is a neat perk. The waves are gonna make me have to pee. It's like all blue in here because like we're under the sea. Wow. I think the front row is actually gonna be like a really good view. Like we're not like too close to the stage. It's you know? not like some um, 
Broadway shows or something where you kind of have to like uh, yeah. to see. It's like right there. Yeah. We're not going to be able to see um, the stage open up when people come from underneath the stage. So it's going to be like a surprise because normally you can like see when the stage opens up. And by normally we mean when we sit in the balcony. Because like here's eye level and like see like we can't see like where the stage is. But shouldn't they put this on the Disney Treasure? That's what Get I it? just said. I stole Brian Carrie's joke. Brian has stolen my joke so <laughs> many times. So many times. Not there. The Little Mermaid show ended. It was really good, actually. Like, it was really, really good. I really liked it. And sitting in the front row made it extra cool. I think that's part of why I liked it so much, because you can almost, like, interact with the people by, like, making eye contact and smiling and clapping extra loud for them. I mean, the Disney Cruise Line shows are top notch. Yeah. It, it's crazy. I have a fun story. What? So, there's a song from The Little Mermaid on Broadway, and it's called She's in Love, and Flounder sings it about Ariel being in love. And back when I first met Brian, I would listen to that song all the time because really? I had like just learned it, and I was like, wow, Flounder's singing about me because I was, you know, falling for wow. Brian. And so I was kind of hoping that that song would be in the show. It wasn't, but oh. you know, like, they really stuck to like the classic movie and just made like a couple little twists but that they, made they it did, really they, good. They did put a twist on a lot of stuff and it, it was good. I liked the yeah, twist that was. they did, yeah. I really liked the Ursula. She was so talented. I'm trying to figure out if she was also Tiana in last night's show, but I can't huh. tell. Because we, last night's yeah. show, we literally sat in the very back row yeah. and tonight's show, we sat in the front row. That is so funny. It's, it's very different to tell. We did go from the very back to the very front. Yeah. And, uh, uh, what was better? I think the very front was better. I think the very front. It's a cool perk. But anyway, now we came up on the top deck because the fireworks are going to start soon. And it's the pirate show. And then during that pirate show is the, the fireworks. <laughs> Everyone's gathering for the fireworks. They put a cover on the pools that are up there. It's kind of crazy. And they put a cover on that pool and a cover on the other pool over there. Everyone's standing on that side, but we heard that this side is better. Yeah, the fireworks are always going to launch from the starboard side, no matter what Disney ship you're on. I'll tell you what, though, the wind is kind of like a curveball today. I don't really know. But yeah, the fireworks are going to be over there. Look how nice the moon looks. Very piratey. Yeah. We just watched the fireworks. Um, it was really cool. The coolest thing happened. The coolest thing happened. We I, saw. I, I saw. It. Okay. So, okay. No, I saw it first. No, no. I did. Carrie saw it first. But but we were wondering because we saw the fantasy in the distance before the show, and we were looking at the fantasy. And we could tell us obviously that you can tell us the fantasy because one, we saw it at Castaway Key, and, and two, like, you can tell that there's like the Mickey logo in the lights. Brian was like, "There's no way they're gonna be doing the fireworks yeah. the same night as us." I, we were like, what if they did the fireworks the same night as us? It was so funny because during the show, I was like, oh my god, the fantasy's doing fireworks. And then all of a sudden, like, our fireworks went off too. It was so cool seeing our ship have fireworks and the fantasy have fireworks at the same time. It was amazing. And I always wondered, like, if you saw, like, a Disney ship in the distance and you saw them do fireworks yeah. at that moment, would you be able to see it? And the answer is yes, you can see it. The answer is definitely yes. Really I also really liked the part of the show where, um, like, Jack Sparrow came out. Yeah, that was cool. I thought that was there cool. were weren't any Disney characters. Like there was Jack Sparrow though. Okay, I mean not like Mickey or Minnie. Here's a tip for me though. I don't think you need to see the stage. I think no matter like you could get a spot that doesn't face the stage because the, the stage part isn't. I didn't love it. I'm glad no. that we saw it. I had an argument with Brian about whether or not <laughs> we were gonna see it tonight, and I was like, we're seeing it. I wanted to go to a spot that like wasn't near the stage. Where That's we... what we did on the dream. Yeah. We're here. We're at our door. <laughs> <laughs> we have another gift. A little it... pixie dust. Wait, wow. so, wait, wait, does pixie dust mean that it's not someone in our group and that it's, um, check, no. check, check the, the Facebook group and see if that, no. they're in our group. Yeah. They're in our group. We went to a room on floor eight. Yeah, they're in our, oh, they're not. See? What? Because people do this thing called they, they spread pixie dust or something like that. And they'll give gifts to people that, like, they're not in their group, what? but they'll still give a gift, yeah. People are very generous. Let's open it, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. I can't open it. Like, they'll just have, like, a huge, like, bag of gifts, and they'll just go down the hallway and just, like, give them wow. to everyone. Oh, I yeah. bet that feels really good. Yeah. What is it? It's marbles. It's like marbles. Oh, <gasps> tic-tac-toe? Oh, tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, and so like I'd be like, okay. I play Mickey, and you put this here. That's neat. How do you know who's who? Oh, there's there's the dark colors. and light. It's the colors of the sea. Wow. This is neat. Well, thanks. This is so nice. Yeah, thanks for the pixie dust. This is amazing. Uh, Sandalfall. Wow, how peachy. <laughs> We're back near the lobby and we're looking at this, this thing again. And we just noticed another tiny detail is they put like people decorating their rooms into the design of this poster. They have- Like Disney made it canon to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Like they're all decorated just like they would be in real life. That's awesome. It's so cool. There's a lot of little details in yeah. this thing. So like the captain has a little um, like hula oh my girl. God. <laughs> it, there's a lot of fun stuff. And then here's where we ate dinner. This is the Marvel thing. This, I really liked that dinner. I, I thought it was really cool. I like the restaurant a lot. I really like like the techie theming. Like even on the ceiling, there's like techie stuff. And then there's like this honeycomb wall that's like waspy, very cool. Anywho, we're gonna go play. Uncharted Adventures. Yeah. My game isn't loading, but it will soon. Carrie found a dog. I found a dog. Congratulations, congratulations. It's got a square head. This is like a Minecraft dog. Do you feel like it was painted? Uh, I don't know. Oh, what luck. You found Michael's birthday cruising <laughs> duck. Keep or hide, you decide. Hidden in honor of Michael's 12th birthday. The Murphy family from Winter Garden, Florida. Oh, I don't know. I feel like we should just leave it where it was. <laughs> Last time we did, um, there was like a little kid that found it right after we did. So let's hope that happens again. Yeah. I was really excited to play this Uncharted Adventure game all night and I wanted to complete the game. They do not let you play past 11 p.m. We don't know the exact time because it was letting us play to like finish out our quest, but after yep. the quest it was like game over, you have to play during operating hours. Yeah, we finished one of our quests and then it was like, it's too late to play. And it's like, okay, 11 o'clock isn't that late. I think the problem is that people are going to sleep and it's loud. I guess I just wish that it told us what the operating hours were. You Disney wish that they told us? <laughs> no, I agree. I wish it was like from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. But the other thing is like there's not much to do at night on the ship. So yeah. it's like that was like something you could do at night. And yeah, that's like a yeah. complaint that a lot of people have about Disney ships is like, what do adults do after a certain time? And it's like yeah. they took away the one thing that it would be awesome for them to do. The midship detective agency on the dream is the same way. Did you the can't same thing. You can't play that late at night either. So we think we're going to go to the bayou and get some beignets because we heard they were really good from our tour guide earlier today. And so. possibly hot chocolate? Yeah. We're at the bayou now. And is is that a frog foot or is that a crown? Or both. Or both. This place is cool. I really, this is like my favorite themed place on board. I think it's so pretty. And they have a lot of zero proof drinks. They have orange soda with fresh orange juice. Wow. And they have what we're here for, which is the beignets. One beignet is only a dollar fifty. Three for three twenty-five. It's not too bad. Yeah, this is pretty good. Are you looking at the digital menu? Yeah, there's a Mama special three beignets, and it has like chocolate. See, so here's what the the game says: Continue your adventure during operating hours. So this mason jar, the light is like flickering. Do you think it's supposed to be like the firefly in the movie? I don't know. Okay, there's no firefly in there, but I, I like that idea. Because that's how you're supposed to catch fireflies too. You're supposed to like catch them in a mason jar. I think that's cute. Yeah. Wow. Okay, the smell. The smell is so good. Look at these beignets. Look at this. Look at this orange soda. I think it's like vanilla cream soda with like fresh orange juice. Yes. Ridiculous. It looks so good. Is there an ice cream in there too? Fanta what? Fanta who? This is my new orange soda. I don't know if it got your soda or I don't know. Really? I'm sorry. It's not. It's recording now. It's recording now. <laughs> I'm leaving this. <laughs> Carrie <laughs> forgot to hit the record button. <laughs> no, no, no. The camera has been stuck since Norway, and so one time in Norway, I didn't hit the button, and Brian was like, oh, "Carrie, you didn't hit the button." And then ever since he's been like, "Oh wait, the button's kind of stuck." Oh, sometimes it's not working. And this time I didn't work and... The button is fine. Okay, anyway, I had a bite of the beignets. They're really good, really hot, really fresh. Um, I need another bite to remind myself of how good they are. 
Now, something we said off camera apparently, you've had, you've had them at Walt well, Disney World and Disneyland. I've had them at Disney World, Disneyland. Um, it, it's very good. It, this one feels a lot like softer. I feel like sometimes at Disneyland or Disney World, it's like kind of have like a crunch a tiny bit on the outside. This is like very, very soft. They've been like sitting or something. Anyway, and I also said this is really good. Yeah. This orange soda. It's good. I'm not actually sure I've ever had a beignet. It's like a donut. Mm -hmm. The Star Wars bar is right behind us, but I just don't know if we're gonna have time to go to it. It's just, it's always so packed in there. We're finding we aren't gonna have a lot of time for a lot of things. Yeah. And and here's my thing is like, why is it so small in there when you have this jewelry store that's kind of like wasting space? Like they could have made the Star Wars bar so much bigger. I don't, there's a lot of the jewelry stores on board and I don't know. I think they're kind of a waste of space, honestly. I just, I'm not going to spend money on it. I don't know how many people are. I'd rather see more hyperspace lounges, more it's, bayous. It's honestly kind of a shocking decision to make the Star Wars thing so small when you know the demand is going to be so high there. But but this lounge is really cool. I like this place. It's so pretty. And did you notice that the light, lights in, on the ceiling are like twinkling? Wow. Because like the fireflies, I guess, you know? Right, let's see if we have a Gus. Maybe a pirate Gus. It's cold in here. We need a pirate. I hope we have a pirate. Wait, let's turn on the lights. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not looking at the bedroom. I'm turning on the lights. Yeah, turn on the. We can never get the on? lights. Oh yeah, I think I turned. Okay. Ah! A bat. A bat. Wow, we had a bat on Independence, didn't we? Or no? I don't know. I think it's we did. Cute. This bat is an elevated bat though, because this has it's eyes. Right. It's actually. I, I think it's bigger too. It seems big. And then, um... A bat isn't really piratey, though. Dead men tell no tales. We got some chocolates. It's crazy that Disney can just show all of the other ships in their fleet. Like, it's so small that it can yeah. go through everything. Yeah, like, imagine if, like, Royal did that. It would take, like, half an hour to go through each ship. <laughs> You'd be, like, waiting and waiting and waiting until your ship showed up. Yeah. Here's where we are. So we really overshot Castaway. The captain made the ship go a certain way so it's better for the wind and the fireworks. But anyway, tonight we're going to start heading back to Castaway Key and we're going to be at Castaway Key tomorrow morning where we're going to get a cabana and um, Carrie has a uh, bloom for an eye. Okay, see you tomorrow. Coming up in our next video. We dock in Castaway Key where we enjoy a beach day in a private cabana. Then we head back on board for the frozen dinner show.